There has been an invasion. Alien beings from beyond the physical plane have invaded the minds of an unsuspecting human population, influencing them to act on their darkest desires. To fight this intrusion, higher spiritual powers have trained human assets in a meditative technique that allows them to enter the subconscious minds of the affected and eliminate the otherworldly trespassers. These highly skilled psychic assassins are known as Mind Rakers. But the war has taken a turn for the worse, as one of the most decorated human warriors has betrayed the cause, giving up the names of psychic agents to the enemy, leading to great casualties in the ranks. Now the traitor lies neutralized in a mysterious coma, leaving her fellow soldier, partner in love and war, confused and alone. His name is Maru and the weight of existence rests on his shoulders in the simple shape of a six-sided box given to him by God. But he doesn't like to talk about that. Mind Raker. Background Anger. Episode 1. Betrayal Vision. <laughs> Parallel waves break over the fractured bow, mind and consciousness smashing into a string of dental floss. I make the pies, mud, and cheese, all these thoughts in my head. I don't know anything about pies. I don't like pies. I want to stop making pies, but I'm still making pies. All of the pies are digital regardless of flavor. I see a man fall over in a power wheelchair. I don't stop and help because I don't want to touch the man. Some other people lift the wheelchair but leave the man on the ground. I laugh about it when the man is out of sight. The gray tides of circumstance, warrior on the ground. A riddle of betrayal, objectives unknown. Something missing, lost or just misplaced. No man left behind, but some wander on the way. Friend, lover, confidant, fellow warrior in the fight. Gone too soon, a fading satellite. Corporeal presence on loan, transient afterimage of summer's last light. I hold her cold hand. Watch the machine pump air into her lungs, vacant eyes unaware. I run a brush through hair, once a golden fleece, now dark and sallow swamp. Michelle, my Michelle Ma Bell, my girlfriend in a coma. An act of violence penetrates the heart, self-mutilation drum. Ritual footsteps on the sun, flayed skin, love's work undone. Excuse me, sir, visiting hours are over. Driving home, I see a homeless man's junk-filled shopping cart run over in the street. The sky sucks gray humidity, dark clouds of excrement and grief. Throw down your marbles, throw down your marbles, fucker! Someone yells from the street. There are no angels to herald my exit from the dirty thought bubble. The steps to the apartment are gangrene and phosphorus. Blood and shit, a candy-colored clown you call the Sandman. I've still got the box. The thought plays on repeat until the words form a relief tableau across the gray gobbledygook in my head. A courtyard in Egypt, those pretty Fido's bark, 
the tentative darkness. Still. TV horn blares. Crank it up, crank it up. Delete, delete, backspace, return. There's something I have to do. Echoes linger in the background, soft gray intruders, phantom rainstorms on a distant horizon, ghosts hovering in the sky, legs spread wide open. Minimalist fear on a fast food diet. Fear the box, fear thyself. Don't think about the box. There's the other thing. Thing you have to do. Fear of the text chime, anticipation migration, superstitious code. The barking dog reads, are we doing this thing? The thing, not that thing. The box could end the thing, shut up. No box, thing. Wicked spirit painted green, my love tank is low. I text back, where do we meet? I have work in the morning. You hate that job, comes back. I have to work in the morning. Construction of your dreams. Construction of the lie. The usual, the reply. Not long after, we are seated across from one another at a local Starbucks. Public consumption, corporate cooperation, the profit of human interaction. She is tall and thin, elegant in an unobtrusive sort of way. A cream-colored coat drapes her reaper's frame like a canvas, a slick silver mop on top. Lines fit like puzzle pieces on her face. We call her the spotter. I am the hunter, the soldier. Codename Mindraker. She finds the target, I take the shot. This is the target. Check returned. Insufficient funds. Seems intention wrote an IOU the Skanders couldn't cover. That cough isn't getting any better. Have you seen a doctor? It's fine. I'll live. The metaphysics of porn. Confection desire. Molasses and steam. Crouching hitman waiting in your dreams. Here are the details. I foolishly ponder the riddle in her wrinkled hands as she slides a manila envelope across the table. <laughs> Wait for the signal. Home again. Manila envelope stares. The box glares. Blue dream truck, lights on in the shade. Cesspool junkie tell of her crime. Trees on fire, palms red in Van Nuys. I have to get my consciousness into my consciousness. Overactive imagination, Bunsen burner overdrive. I pull a photo and some handwritten information from the envelope. African American female, age 33. Average but attractive, single, never married, Michelle. More information pours out, emails, texts, social media posts, and a curious webcam address. Black Mandala, dark subconscious, fear in the weeds, withered, sharp, broken, and sparked. Instagram fiend, love me tweet, book my face, I am, I be, give it to the sea. Book weirdo, mystery tree, lines of demarcation. He quit his favorite cereal and now his hands are full of shame. Inspiration at the cost of truth. Perverted guess, a tale of two streams. A dying curse, death by meme.
I set a chair in the middle of the room, placed my phone on the table nearby. Vantage point. The eye and the mind. More info, an address. I Google mapped the location. A pin in the mind's eye. GPS psyche. Remote view to a kill. Psychic casting. Astral spy. Bodhisattva sniper scope. The shadow of Eclipse passes over the land, releasing shadow beings in the minds of the people in its path. Psychic fault lines, seduction thrust, schizophrenia, fragmented karma, phantom filth. Wrong minds and right bodies struggling to get out. Spiritual intruders, impure passivity, custom carts, perversion parody, block it out. A message from the wrong house. Pollution in the unified field, collective unconscious smut. Return to sender, extraordinary render. Banal retreat, body dysmorphia, an incandescent sphere. Potato chip daydreams and ambient tears. The text arrives. Target in REM state. Showtime. I cast off my mortal haze, assume the guise of the soldier, prepared to enter the subconscious of another. My mind into the targets, soul to soul, a concentric theater of operations. I sit comfortably in the seat, close my eyes, think the word, think the target. The word becomes the target. Upside down cloud, spirit negated, contact without form, target acquired. Falling up, blackened window, devil's spirit vomit plunge. Broken hedge remembers none. Shattered sparks, daffodils, a quiet stream, placid pills. Mind fucked, broken phone, heavy breathing dial tone. The quiet quills, subconscious strokes across the riddle sun. Beyond the blue jump scare, lovers hate. Resanity, consciously connected, achievement unlocked. Mind in target, target in word. Urinal sponge cake, dilapidated spare. Inner life, the skies turned off. Existential apocalypse, a low and ecliptic stare. I'm in. Deserted street in the mind of another. Michelle, African-American female, age 33. Average but attractive, single, never married. Siren bright, time on mind. Whispering dunes at crushing depths. Desperate apartments leak screaming fits and arguments. Acrylic haze, gumdrop smile smashed up on the street. Front tooth missing, vacant facade. Purgatory migration on a cold wick. Bring it down and put it back. Take up the cause again. A sudden silence, stillness out of reach. I stop. A form appears in darkness. Desperate ruin from the shadow veil. Michelle, 
My Michelle, the one I know. Here, and possibly here. Michelle? I step toward her. She steps back. I stop. She's already dead. The wrong Michelle becomes the right Michelle. African-American female, age 33. Average but attractive, single, never married. A condescending vice takes notice. Step away from the causeway with contempt. Blue skies mumble under deep waters. A sully smile, incandescent paw of eclipse. She is here, she is now. The target, the object. A polite stranger's smile. She turns to walk away down the street. I follow, trailing like a shadow after shadows. Gentle stalker wears the crown. I watch her enter a cafe, get a coffee, take a seat. The form of a mind is formless, formlessness trapped in form. The shell, material world of form, bars around the cell. I enter the cafe, take a seat at a table across from Michelle. She watches me from the corner of her eye. Did she send you? She asks, still side-eyed. I'm looking for her. She's not here. She's already dead. Which one are you? A loud disturbance erupts across the room. Two men, large and ambiguous, screaming at each other about caution and fidelity. We watch for a moment, then the ruckus subsides. The two men kiss, hold each other tight. People around them clap. A few shed tears. What was the question? I'm looking for someone. Maybe you know her? You mean the one who's following me? Possibly. Who is she? I don't know her name. Just a face. But when I look at her, I don't see a face. She told me something. What was it? Gupta is mad at me. She wants to throw me out of my apartment. Why? Something is wrong with the walls. I can show you. I like that. We finish our coffee in silence. A primordial ooze, vision of its guts. Mankind tastes death and builds a city with rotting walls. Bile in the chakra, pineal rage, remorseless suicide. The streets are hot, burning through our souls. Step fast, step lively. Fleet feet, demons dive. I'm two steps behind when she pulls me into the alley. Chain links and dumpster sweat. Listen to the echoes. Time has lost its flavor. Pelvis is thrust. Sweat and meat. Flesh and form. Matter desperation. You don't belong here. She pulls me down to the ground. Gravel, dirt, and blood. The regurgitated waft of garbage reminds me of my mission. I hesitate. A push against the pole. She slaps me across the face. Headlights turn in at the other end of the alley and stop. Semi-formed shapes and darkness moving like liquid in space. Blood pours from my nose, hitting my hand. She pushes me off. I feel around in the dark near the dumpster. I stuff the soft part of a crumpled napkin in my gushing nostril. The napkin has no discernible smell, but there is something hard in it. I wipe my hand in the grass and dirt. The headlight specter steps through the glare, moving my way. I run out of the alley, see Michelle at the crosswalk ahead, soul on fire in a meaningless stride. She licks the horizon, a circumspect smile. The dreamer dreams the dream of the other. Self within self, hold on to the word. That grain on the beach, the tide coming in. Up the masochistic steps to her apartment building. I catch the heavy door with my shoulder, Michelle vanishing at the end of the hall. Past the silent doors to the end of the corridor. Which one is hers? Is she up the stairs? Do I knock, call out, or wait? Fear is the byproduct of form and matter, the churning of the butter. The prisoner sweats in his cell, the diver shallows his breath. The door clicks open behind me. Michelle pulls me in by the collar. 
Get inside and shut up. If Gupta sees you, we'll both be in trouble. She waves me to another room. I remove the napkin from my nose, inspect the dried blood, tuck it in my pocket and follow. Something on the floor. The smell repudiates the air. Sickness burns in limbic revolt. Bruising on the ceiling, alchemical coagulation. Sickness casserole chunks in the melting frame. Soul transmutes the swollen sore. Depravity and laughter, the sound of the sucking drain. Spack, 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 up from the guck. I touch it, smell it. Vomit. Michelle's eyes well up. She bites her lip. A loud knock demands attention from the door. Michelle looks, her hands tremble. She jerks on a string of terror. It's her, Gupta. Don't answer it. She has a key. I walk toward the bathroom, wringing my hands. Wipe them on the door frame. I pass the half-open bedroom door. Someone inside. Someone in bed. I slip inside. Step up to the half-covered figure lying there. Draw the sheet back slightly. There she is. One of them. Michelle or Invader. Masquerade puzzle. Mystery door. Light or shadow. Sleeping or dead. I remember the words she told me when we met. The words of the wrong Michelle, my Michelle. She's already dead. Which one is this? I grab her wrist, checking for a pulse. Cold. A life gone out. The knocking stops in the other room. The jangle of keys, followed by the clack of the lock. No one's home! But it's too late. I step out of the room to see Gupta in the doorway. Destruction Cadillac, Ocelot smile. Exploited female face, oppressive feline body. Sleek black fur, golden lamentations. Gupta sniffs Michelle, then the gut splat floor. Eyes me nonchalant. Spartan growl steals from its bosom. Slinks to the bedroom. Sniffs the body there. Souffle Jezebel. Overheated smile when the cold break down. Wailing heat moans, orgasmic in scale. Blood and mush spray. Splash, gush. Gupta devours the body. I turn away from the feast. See Michelle on the couch, lost in a dove sleep. Halo beam on her face. Deleted, expunged. Schizophrenic exorcism, the rites of gore. Vacant utterance, the babe in blood. Stalk no more the family business. Grease on the chalkboard, oil on the rug. Gupta steps out of the room. Blood red smile, necklace under accusing eyes. You don't belong here, stare, like a black sucker punch. Manifesto breach, dung beetle tax withheld, lies crucified. She's already dead, were her words. Someone has to eat that fire. Collage hand, decoupage heart, say the magic word. Word in mind, mind in word. Gupta takes one last swipe. Soul's gone ghost, bullet dream, butterfly thing. I open my eyes in the seat. Home, spiritually and physically. The quiet apartment stares back. A text awaits on my phone. How did it go? In nature, nothing fights a forest fire. Take me into the sea so my spirit remembers. I text back. Target terminated. Mission accomplished. Mind Raker. Background Anger. Episode 1, starring Sean Schemmel, featuring Michael Roxy Johnson, Victoria May, Witten Frank, Bree Piper, and Noel Rodrigo. Mind Raker, Background Anger, is a Spiral Opus audio production, created, written, and produced by Roy Burdine. Co-produced by Sean Schemmel. Sound engineered and mixed by... Mark <laughs>
Habibib. Mind Raker. Background Anger. Is copyright 2023. Roy Burdine.